Hi, I'm Jonas Forslund from Evely Bank's Equity Research. Uh, today we are here at, um, in Espo, Finland at InnoFactors uh, headquarters and with me I have uh, InnoFactors CEO Sami Ensia. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Today re you released your Q4 2019 report. Could you tell us the highlights from Q4 and, and summarize 2019? Okay, let's start from the growth. I think the greatest thing in quarter four, what we had, it was fantastic growth, about 10%. It was 17.4 million euros revenue totally. So we came back to growth track and, and quite strongly. And we also hired a new country manager in uh, Sweden, uh, Markus Hasselblad, what, what is the great because we, it was something like eight months without country manager. Or I was personally an acting country manager in Sweden. So now we are back to, to normal situation. And in full year, also growth, not so much, but 2% growth anyway, uh, 64.2 million euros revenue. What, what, what is great after decreasing of, of revenue one year. And uh, another very important thing is profitability in 2019. Uh, we did uh, 5.1 million euro EBITDA and it was 6.1 million euro better what we had a year ago. So great improvement in, in that area. And also order backlog, uh, 50 million euro uh, order backlog and, and growth was over 60%. So mm -hmm. many, many good things happened during 2019. Mm. 2019 was a turnaround year for, for InnoFactor. Absolutely, yeah. So 2020, how is uh, 2020 looking? Okay, our official forecast is that our revenue will be better and also our EBITDA will be better what we had 2019. And of course, it was a good start for the year when our growth already was over 10, or almost 10% in, in quarter four. So we are starting very strongly this year and, and we will focus on sales and, and still improve our invoicing rate and, and very basic things and I'm confident that we will get the great numbers in, in 2020 also. Mm. Uh, you stated in the Q4 report that you're still looking for strategic partnerships in the Nordics. Uh, yes. Could you specify a little bit more about this? Yes, uh, there has been a couple of years, two, three years without any acquisitions. And now it's maybe time to think about again, if we could do something in that area. Especially in, in Finland and Norway, I think the company is in that shape that we really could do something. But of course, we first need to find the good company and uh, decent price for, for, for that. So, but, but let's see. Anyway, we are open for that kind of opportunities, but we were not maybe, maybe last year. Mm. Let's talk about the other countries, uh, excluding Finland. Yeah. Uh, what is the latest developments in the, the other Nordic countries? Uh, Q4 was very good in that area also, because in every country, in local currency, we grew in, in quarter four. So, so uh, it didn't come only in one or two countries, this growth, it, it came from every country. But what is fantastic and also profitability was in, in decent level in, in every country. So, so basically we had quite big challenges in, in Sweden lately and, and in long term in, in Denmark. But now it seems that we have done a turnaround there also. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. You mentioned you did some key recruitments as well uh, in, in, during last year for these, these areas. Yes. Uh, in in, in uh, Sweden, I mentioned already that this Markus Hasseblad started as a, as a country manager. And in, in Denmark, we nominated our Norwegian country manager, Jörn Elefsson, to, to being also a country manager in Denmark. He has done a fantastic job in, in Norway, and we are sure that he can do same in, in Denmark, so I'm, I'm very confident about that also. Mm. Thank you, Sami, for walking us through the Q4 and the thank outlook you. for today, for this <laughs> Thanks year. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.